must give a blessing. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever and ever. redemption and the blessing of the Jordan be sent into it. Let us pray to the Lord. For Kate Josephine, who is approaching holy enlightenment, and for her salvation, let us pray to the Lord. She may prove herself as a daughter of the light, an heir of everlasting good things. Let us pray to the Lord that this water may be her bath of new birth, the forgiveness of her sins, and her garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord that she and all of us may be rescued from all distress, violence, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord oh, oh. God of all creation, maker of all things seen and unseen, you form the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. You gather the waters into one mass, you close in the deep and seal it with your awesome and the glorious name. You raise the waters above the firmament, you set the earth solidly upon the waters. You are the awesome one, and who can stand against you? Father, look upon this work of your hands, and by your blessing, make this water holy. Send into it the free gift of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan. Make this water a fountain of incorruption, a gift of holiness endowed with the power to forgive sins, the power to heal the spirit, and to despoil opposing forces. Fill this water with your divine might, that those who would ensnare your creation might flee before it. Yes, O Lord, we call upon your name. It is wondrous and glorious and terrible for the adversary. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of the life-giving cross. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of the life-giving cross. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of the life-giving cross. This we ask through the compassion and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with him and your most holy, good and life-giving spirit, you are blessed now and forever and ever. Josephine is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, that her mind might be open to accept the faith and to recognize the truth of Christ, now and forever and ever. For the healing of soul and body, that she may love the Lord our God with her whole heart, with her whole soul, with her whole mind, and her neighbor as herself. That she may freely accept the easy yoke of Christ and gladly bear his light burden, turning away from all earthly temptations. For the response of faith, that her ears may heed the call of the gospel. Here.
that she may raise her hands toward the high place, serving justice at all times and blessing the Lord. That she may follow the path of the commandments of God. The handmaid of God, Kate Josephine, is baptized in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Josephine is clothed in the robe of truth, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grant me a robe of love. you may go out with all the sins to greet him into the chambers of his heavenly glory, there to reign with him forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Be armed with the cross of our Lord and God and the Savior Jesus Christ. The defeat of all the glory of the enemy. 